you know, everything from style and design and simplicity and how things work is very, very important. The pan I'm getting used to, I've only used this for a few days now, and I've actually come to love this so much. The new handwriting software is mostly oriented around the quick script window, which I'm trying to move the cursor to indicate to you where it is. And in here, I can type text, and I can handwrite it, I can print it like I used to do on my new. I used to love to take that new into courses and things and just take notes. For hours and hours, go home, print 22 pages of notes. I used to love it. I loved it more than typing on a keyboard. Sometimes with Apple products, you'll notice that they feel good. They feel like a human product. You know, you pick up the first iPod, and you think, well, feature-wise, comparison-wise, price, I don't know how it fits into my life, and you start using it, and all of a sudden, this thing really fits me as a human being. You know those sort of things. And handwriting, pointing right to objects and dragging them on the screen instead of remote control with this thing called a mouse. It's a wonderful feeling. So a lot of the fun to me as a non-artist is actually doing things that feel very human. Um, if I open up, say, um, text edit here, and I want to type something into it, start typing, I'm going to make my font a little large so you'll see it. Okay, I can handwrite. And it goes in, make sure that your app has an active insertion point before you start typing. And um, I can, you probably can't see it on the display, but I just wrote the word below. I can print. I used to be more careful about printing on the Newton because it was more accurate, and I find with this new quick script software that the handwriting is, is much better for me. I like it a lot more. Oops, I meant to write hello world, but I wrote hello, hello. That's how nervous I am. Um, so basically, that's, that's how it works. Um, there are only a couple, in, in the quick script software, there's only a couple of special gestures. One is a backward slash to delete characters and delete letters. The other is a down and back, kind of like the return symbol, and it executes a carriage return. And uh, if you can see the insertion point, it actually implemented the carriage return. Okay, I'm going to um, close this window and move forward. Okay, um, in the quick script typing area, we've got three icons on the left hand of the window, and the top one brings forth and closes a few extra buttons that are helpful. Right now I'm in a mode that lets me type free text. I'm going to demonstrate one of the other modes a little later. My language is English. It's responsive to even some, um, some very, very different languages, as just mentioned. So you can handwrite, I think, even in Chinese. And things like the space symbol, which are very hard to do with handwrite when you want to insert a space somewhere. The, um, the preferences are simple. One of the key preferences that I might use is the dictionary. If you're writing a word, like I was writing play tunes the other day, and it kept changing it to Playboy, I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to put a new word in the dictionary. Um, so we'll get, we'll get to that very soon. The dictionary was the important part of those. And the, a little icon that looks like a button on a keyboard brings forth the Quick Clicks keyboard, which dims itself until my mouse is over. It's something those of you who've used tablets before are probably familiar with. And it lets me type a little more precisely when I'm having trouble with um, anything in handwriting or I want to just type some unusual characters quickly. Okay. Now, um, I've got everything running and I've got my um, iChat up. That iChat open, so I'm going to see if, uh, sometimes I'm using my real system today. So we're going to see what email people have sent me in the last day. Okay, here comes an iChat. And you would have actually heard it speak out if I had if I had the microphone down near the speaker here, we don't have two mics today, and it would have said, Boss, could you sign my rear end? Aha, uh -huh. it's the rear of an Apple II. Okay, nice little request. So what I'll do is drag the Apple II out of the window here and sign it. I'm going to use a paint program, a freeware called Paintbrush. Throw that out. Okay, now 
right, here it is. In Paintbrush, I'm going to select uh, the pen tool that I want and the line width I want, and I'm just going to give the guy a nice little signature on a picture. Save it. And send it back. Thank you. 